Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's the Flies Vlogger on the planet. My name is Showtime Bazaar. Welcome back to the channel. Hope everybody's having a great, positive, productive day as always. You know, I got hip hop news, cultural updates, and everything like that for you guys today. But before we do any and all that, you know what you got to do. See that subscribe button on your screen right there. I need you to click that, turn that bell icon on so each and every time one of my videos drop the content that I'm providing to you, you don't miss it. Let's get into it, y'all. Drop my intro. YouTube, what up, though? All right. Uh, let's start this thing out by talking about Cam Newton. All right. I know we all seen this uh, scuffle, kerfuffle, uh, the squabble, whatever you want to call it, that took place between Cam Newton and three other individuals that were grown men that a lot of people on social media thought were kids. But uh, it was during a seven-on-seven seven, like um, football, uh, I guess you could say scrimmage or you know just practice. But it was a seven-on-seven seven event by any means. Um, and Cam Newton and these guys got into it, and uh, Cam Newton handled them all. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he, you know, <laughs> he got him a puff of them. You know, my thing is this: this is what I want to talk about. And that's the first time we've seen Cam Newton have a back and forth with like fans you know what i'm saying i guess cam newton knew who these guys were because he was putting on the 707 with them uh one person said that cam was talking crazy so they ran up on him and then you know that's when the fight broke out cam had a different slightly different you know opinion of what happened but here again my thing is it's not the first time we've seen this with cam newton and i'm not blaming cam newton what i'm saying is why do why do we people keep trying Cam Newton as if he's not a six foot five, two hundred and thirty pound former NFL player? Now I'm not saying you should be scared of him, but I also think you should put a little bit of respect on him. You know what I'm saying? I don't really see people trying like a Tom Brady or Shannon Sharp like that, even though they talk about him. I ain't never seen nobody run up on him. You know what I'm saying? Um But they try Cam Newton as if he's not a former NFL MVP. Dude look like he's still in great shape. Okay? And they want to throw hands with him. Like, I don't know. I don't know if it's because he wear these funny outfits that make them think that he a punk or something. But I don't get that he a punk. So I, I don't feel that vibe at all. And then when you hear conversations that he's having on his podcast, he doesn't come off as if he's soft-spoken. So I'm just trying to figure out what part of Cam Newton makes guys feel like I can take him. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, you don't see too many people running up on Brian. And to me, Cam Newton and LeBron are about the same size. I think Brian is like three inches taller than him. But they're about the same size. These some big dudes. You know what I'm saying? These ain't no, you know, little skinny kids or nothing like that, bro. So, for you guys to think that it's just, you know, easy for you to just whoop Cam Newton ass. I don't, I don't understand that. You know what I'm saying? And um, unless Cam Newton is talking real crazy. Now, nah, all I'm saying is, as long as he's not talking, which I don't think he is, man. I don't think he's soft-spoken. I think he's standing on business, <laughs> as kids like to say. But I also think that, you know, part of it is people think they can try Cam Newton. I wonder what type of energy he's giving off to make people think that. I just don't, I don't see it. You know what I'm saying? Again, it was the kids first, right? At that at that uh that practice they was calling him, you know, trash or whatever like that. He was going back and forth with the kids, and it was another incident that happened after that, and now this one. So I'm just trying to figure out what's going on uh with Cam Newton as to why he feels like he can, you know, or why these people feel like they can take him. You know what I'm saying? I I don't know if I would if I'm Cam Newton, I don't like that. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to hold people, a whole bunch of people out here thinking they could just take me because, you know, I'm on a podcast now because I wear, like, cowboy hats and stuff like that and scarves around my neck. I, I don't know. This is just weird energy to me. to me. But, you know, let me know how you guys feel about this in the comments below. Did you guys see the fight? What are your thoughts? What are your opinions? Um, is Cam Newton getting off, giving off energy that makes him feel like, you know, he's soft? Or do people just... Not like Cam Newton for some weird reason. Let me know all of that in the comments below. All right, YouTube, it is time for a plot twist. All right, this is the part 
of the show where I bring in Lori Mack. Lori Mack said, what's up to the people? What's good, beautiful people? All right. So the movie everybody's been talking about, Kelly Rowland, Tyler Perry, Mia, is it Coopla? Coopia? <laughs> Mia Cooper. Mia, Mia Cooper. Mia Cooper. Okay. Well, y'all, y'all know what I'm talking about. Mia Cooper. All right. Not getting a lot of very good reviews, okay? Um, I've seen it. Larry Mack, have you seen it? I have seen it. Okay. <laughs> Before we, like, dissect this thing, did you like it or did you not like it? Uh... That means you ain't like it. Okay, you took too long. <laughs> you ain't like it. All right, so uh, <laughs> is social media being too hard on Tyler Perry's new movie? Okay, why you ain't like it, first of all? I just felt like it was a... Uh... I don't know. I didn't like that I could predict what it was before it ended. Like, I already knew how it was going to end before it ended. You know, I didn't like that. But how, I don't like any movie like that, though. How far along in the movie were you when you figured out you, you knew it was going to happen? Right after the uh, right after the sex scene. I'm trying to think, what scene was that? It was, um, oh, when she seen the girl that they claimed he killed. At that, when she seen her doing her little housekeeping that, job, that I knew. Over with by then. Yeah, but I mean, I was able to piece it all together. I mean, it was they were still piecing it together, though. I was able to just pretty much finish it up. I only called one thing, which was I figured... Okay, spoiler alert time, so if you ain't seen it too damn bad, don't watch the rest of this video. But I will say this part. Uh, I when the At the beginning, the brother... The uh the one that she was the brother in law who she was going up against, I did figure out that he was going to be the mastermind behind the killing because he was just way too like aggressive with her not wanting to do the case and you know what I'm saying? He just gave me sneaky vibes. So I was like, Alright, he probably gonna be the one to end up killing her. And then like towards the middle of the movie, I was like, Maybe it's not him. And not not towards the middle, towards the end, I'm like, Maybe it wasn't him because when she called him and was like, Yo, I found the girl, I'm like, Okay, maybe you know, maybe he didn't kill her, but then obviously revealed that he was the he, he nobody died, but you know he was the villain in the whole thing. So I did figure that part out. But everything else, I thought it was decent. I thought the movie was okay. I didn't like how it ended because I did feel like we went in a dumbass like loop de loop because you really could have just ended it in the first five minutes. It was like why he didn't just tell? Why didn't the dark skin dude just tell Kelly Rowland he had smashed old girl? In the first place. But remember, I told you that was just in the movie sooner. I mean, that's what I'm saying. The movie would have really been like, all right, this happened, it's done. Over. Yeah. Credits. But it's like, okay, so to me, that's just, <laughs> I'm not a writer, but I just feel like that's just bad writing. Like, you got to make it a little bit more suspenseful. Because if, if you think about it, right, if we're being honest with the movie, you could have, he could have told her that part, and we didn't have to watch him go through all of that. That's true. That's what I'm saying. But, you know, cutting corners with a, cutting, you know, the length of the movie. That's why I just felt like, I agree. I agree 100%. It's a lot of things that could have been done differently. I honestly didn't like the fact that, I don't know, I didn't like the whole outline of it, I guess. Maybe it's just me. But I didn't really care for the fact that, I didn't like the brother. I didn't like the brother either. Mainly because I didn't like how his thought process was, like, First off, you obviously are one of those little brothers that get me manipulated a lot, very easily by their older punk. brother. Of course, even Kelly said it. But it's just the fact that you knew that his wife cheated on him <laughs> <So you laughs> with the understand. painter, yeah, yeah, with the dude. You was like, oh, it's true. Let's see if it's going to happen to my wife. <laughs> yeah, that was too. Why did you feel you like that like... was a good plot? That was a plan. Like, you thought, you thought of this, huh? Yeah, yeah. You was like, okay, so we're... Your wife <laughs> cheated on you, but mine ain't gonna do that. I'm gonna let her go to the same dude that smashed your wife. Like right. that should have been a red flag. I ain't like that part, Tyler Perry. I ain't yeah. gonna that was you could have kept that, bro. I that was like stupid that. to me. And that was just an idiot move. And then at the end when he found out, like I knew I should have, I knew I should just believe my brother. Yeah, like duh, you should have went with your first. That should have been an instant. You shouldn't have to ask nobody no stuff like if that. If you got a man that's smooth and charming like him, you come on, man. Come on now. You yeah. don't think he was gonna smooth charm your lady when you won? You I wouldn't even take no chance like that. That's I'm saying. I'd that all up. You not even coming halfway. Like like he was saying, he was on drugs. He lost his job. His wife was paying for everything. Oh uh, yeah. To put her in the midst of a man. Yeah, you, <laughs> that you, can you warm, delivered shorty you to him actually. Yeah. To the front door. 
I just didn't think that was a smart idea. So other than that, you know, I feel like the movie was okay, but it, it just it left a lot to be desired, as any movie, you know. I think a lot of people were really just butchering Tyler Perry's because they were they're expecting something different from him. This is what a lot of people say is a Tyler Perry film. A lot of people felt like it was a Tyler Perry film, mainly because it was given that. It wasn't nothing different. It wasn't nothing out the box. It just screamed Tyler Perry. I thought it was decent, like I said. Up he's, made, he's made great movies. He's made great series. He's made great things. Mm -hmm. You can't take that away from Tyler Perry. Yeah. But at the same sense, they're all kind of the same. You know what I'm saying? They, they all kind of play into one another, you know? Yeah, I just... Uh... I ain't gonna lie, I thought it was I, I thought it was good in the beginning. You know what I mean? Which Tyler Perry movies normally are. Yeah. They do start off great and then like towards the middle and towards the end you start going, Yeah, okay, yeah, we I know what this is. It's Tyler Perry, so how it's gonna end. So uh but I do think people also be just like bandwagoning and joining in for some reason hating on Tyler Perry. I think, you know, a lot of stuff he do, I agree with you. He do make great T V series, he do make he's has made great movies. He has made great movies, so uh, it just this one was just decent to me. It wasn't, you know. And I just think a lot of that too. It just goes with you know Tyler Perry been doing this for like twenty something plus years. Yeah. You know, in the game, and it's just like I think people are just like I said before expecting something different from him. I mean, his originality when he first came out was only him. Nobody was doing what he's doing. But that now that right. he's been doing it for so long, I think that people were just anticipating another side of Tyler Perry. That's what I was thinking. Right. All right, well, let us know what you guys think in the comments below. Did you guys like Mia Cooper? Yes, thumbs up, thumbs down. Or um, do you think it was just a typical Tyler Perry film? What are your thoughts and opinions? Let us know in the comments below. But that's all we got for you guys today. If you guys enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Follow us on social media. And until next time, we are out of here, y'all.